There are schools where movies are made, but there are schools which movies are made about. It's time for them purple, black, white, and gray. Wildcats from Texas. What up, Wiley? Wiley College, we see you. What up, y'all? It's time for another 100 days PCUs in 100 days. Powered by the number one mobile reader for the culture. New issue coming soon, I promise. The underrated report. And today is all about Wiley College. Thank you, everyone, for your support with the I Am Black History hoodies. We are greatly appreciative of you. If you'd like to cop another one or your first one, just tap the link in our bio, visit our website, and find your color and your size and get one for your friends. Wiley College, founded 1873 by the Bishop Isaac Wiley and certified in 1882, it's one of the oldest predominantly black colleges west of the Mississippi River. You see, they, along with Bishop College, were very instrumental in the civil rights movement in Texas. Wiley and Bishop students launched the first sit-ins in Texas in the old rotunda of the old Harrison County Courthouse to protest segregation in public facilities. But it was Tony Sherman's article about the Wiley College debate team for the 1997 spring issue of American Legacy, which sparked a renewed interest in its history. Why? Because over a 15-year period, poet Melvin B. Tolson's debate team only lost one competition against 75 debates. Their debate team competed against HBCUs and they earned national attention in 1935 when they defeated the reigning champion debaters, University of Southern California. This success was the subject of a 2005 AMS Pictures documentary called The Great Debaters, another program called The Real Great Debaters of Wiley College, and in 2007, the dramatic movie The Great Debaters, directed and starring Denzel Washington. Southern Cal was depicted as Harvard in this movie. But we gotta give a big shout out to Denzel because also in 2007, he made a $1 million donation to help get the program back up and running. And we're glad he did. Because in 2014, Wiley won the first place award at the Pi Kappa Delta Comprehensive National Tournament. If you're not into debate, you don't know what this is, but this was the largest Pi Kappa Delta tournament in their 101 year history. And this was the first national speech and debate title won by an HBCU. Oh, but black excellence did not stop. Three years later, the college launched and established the first HBCU National Speech and Debate League. And in 2018, they hosted the first HBCU National Speech and Debate League tournament. It's gotta be another movie in there. Somebody called Dizelle. Notable alumni, one of the big four of the civil rights movement, Mr. James Farmer, who actually helped to organize some of the sit-ins and the freedom rides in the United States. And a woman known as the grandmother of Juneteenth, Miss Opal Lee. Shout out to you, Wiley, for your dope history, your incredible future. We see you. And as a gift to you for watching, we'd like to give you a free copy of the Underrated Report. We got more dope stories just like this. All you got to do is tap the link in the bio, tap the picture, and drop your email. We'll get it to you as soon as we can. Thanks again for watching. And never forget that Black education is Black excellence. So let's keep it going. Who's next?